YouTube, YouTube. I was just thinking again, man, just riding and thinking on my way to work. The only way we're going to fix this situation, listen to me really good. The only way we're going to fix this situation with this racism thing going on and white cops killing black guys and just the hate crime and all kind of stuff going on, it's going to take the white people to step up and say enough is enough. Not the victim, but it's going to take the white people, the real white people, the honest white people to step up and say, man, enough is enough. How long are we going to put these people through this kind of anguish? Why should they have to live scared and fearful of the police? You know, it's just, uh, 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 the white people, listen to me, good. The white people are going to have to stand up and say enough is enough. That's the only way this is going to stop. You guys know what's going on. You guys ain't blind. You ain't deaf. You've been seeing this stuff going on for years. But I'm telling you, it's not, it's not going to get no better. But it's going to have to take the white people to stand up and say, come on, man, when is enough? We have to stop this foolishness. Okay? That's the only way we're going to get past this situation. And the cops that killed that black guy the other day with his knee in his neck, he need life in prison. Really, he really need life in prison. You're going to have to make an example out of somebody. And the law officer, if you're a law officer, nobody shouldn't fear you, man. Then if you do something like that, if you're a law, law officer and you do something like that, man, you should get the maximum penalty possible. I ain't talking about uh, 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 laid off with pay. I'm talking about they should give you life in prison. If not, it's going to never stop. Loans, you uh, congressmen and mayors and all these people patting this stuff like it ain't happening, it's never going to go away. It's going to go away when you acknowledge what's going on and make them pay the next penalty. You guys be good. Thank you for visiting Fishing in the Hood with the Brinsons. Now I tell you, man, it's getting to be a really tough <laughs> Situation, man. I heard some talks going on this week, man. That's like it's kind of scary, man. And uh, I don't know, man. I just tell him, man, you see, it's gonna take some time. And, and they were saying, the young dude was telling me, man, how much time we supposed to take, pop? I said, man, bro, they gonna take a little more time. I said, we overcame so much so far. And 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 it was like three of them I was talking to, three young men I was talking to. And uh, I think the oldest one was 24. Another was 18, I think 18 and 20, he told me. And uh, they just tired. They just said, man, we tired of this, man. You know, I understand their pain. I feel this going through. I'm still trying to tell them some stuff to help them relate to it. And uh, it's like, I found myself really <laughs> short for words. Because it's really pathetic now. It's, just, it's, just, it's no excuse. How could a man put his full body weight on a man Nate for over seven minutes and you think he's not gonna breathe? No, you don't have to be a paramedic, you don't have to be a doctor, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know this. You get on somebody Nate, it gonna cut the air supply off. It's just, you just know this, that's no excuse. And not only should they be fired, the one that did that, he should get some jail time. I'm serious, man, he should get some jail time. That man deserved to go to prison, man, for the rest of his life took a man life and the, the guy wasn't hostile i'm so glad for them that other cameras came out and the street cameras came out that dude everything they told him to do he did it get against the wall he got against the wall sit down on the ground he sat on the ground that man did everything they told him to do i don't care what crime he did it didn't cost his life yeah he's probably said, well, he was wrong he was trying to forge this and do this here he had counterfeit this or whatever whatever man there's no excuse for a man to lose his life the U.S. police officer, he was supposed to come in and arrest him. Take him to jail. Let the judge decide his punishment. Not you. Man, America. <laughs> this junk, it's, yeah, I think it's finna get really ugly around here, man. Seriously, man. It's because people just tired, man. You know, I know we done marched down Alabama, Birmingham, and marched all around with Martin Luther King and 
all this stuff here and singing we should overcome. And man, we ain't overcoming nothing. What they doing, the, the, the cops, the white cops, the white people, they is using a different technique on us. They ain't hanging us. They ain't hanging us with no trees, but they doing other kind of stuff. And it's just amazing, man. And and I tell you, man, I hate to get stopped. When I get stopped, man, I immediately turn on my camera. You know, I be respectful. Yes, sir. No, sir. I try to, you know what? I don't just keep my res my reservation inside my glove department. I keep my reservation over my sun visor for I want to be reaching and digging. So when they want it, I just pull it out. Like, hey, how you go, sir? I don't want to be reaching. I don't want to be making no false moves. I don't want to do nothing. Because it's like we are a threat to them. They threatened by us. Man, we some powerful people. Black people, man, we man, we put our mind to something, man. We can move mountains, man. We can move some things and make some things happen. But parents, talk to your talk to your sons and not even your sons, your daughters too, man. They, they mistreat them, slam them around, and they had some case where the where the officer tasing this little girl, 14 years old, he tasing her. I'm like, it's crazy. They got no respect for the black race scene, like. And I don't know who made them superior. They ain't, who made them so superior? You know, they bleed red just like we bleed red. They use the bathroom just like we use the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? They put their pants on the same way we put our pants on. So who made them so superior? What 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 make them so great? I don't know, man. The Bible say, uh, it's okay to get be angry, but sin not. So we're at the point where, where people are just angry. People are really just angry, man. Moses got angry. And you see what he did. Amos Christ himself got angry when he came to the temple when they was in there shooting dice and doing gambling and selling stuff inside the temple. He got a rope and he whooped them out of there and flipped tables over. He was upset himself. So we gotta be careful with the situation. It's very touchy. But to the to the to the white people out there that's listening to me today, man, you guys gotta wake up, man. We ain't in the, we ain't in the 30s and the 40s no more, man. It's a whole different time frame now. And 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 these young African American boys, they ain't finna take this stuff too much no more, okay? For me talking to them three young men yesterday, man, it's finna blow. It's gonna be some ugly stuff happening. I know it's gonna be a lot of people get killed and get wasted over some foolishness of race and skin color. Gonna lose your life over a color? Parents, talk to your kids. And white folks, kids, kids not. You put a white kid and a black kid in the same room, they'll play together all day long. You gotta teach them racism. No, don't play with him, he's black. Oh, look at their hair. Don't you play with them.